Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I am back with another DIY. Today we're gonna to be going over different ways that you can dry out paint cans for safe disposal. All of my research comes from the EPA's website and my local and state government environmental waste websites. So this is all based on the official safe recommendations for disposal. And I also wanna point out, this is for water-based paints only. So that's gonna be your latex and acrylic paints. These paints are actually not hazardous. They are non-toxic paints. The only reason why you need to dry them out before disposal is so that the liquids don't seep into the ground or into the groundwater or local creeks. We don't wanna contaminate the soil or the water. All right, let's get started. If you open up an old can of paint and find that the paint inside is already hardened, it is safe for disposal right away. You can put that directly into your garbage can. The next can I opened wasn't quite as dry. It was more like sludge. It was somewhere between Play-Doh and air dry clay thickness. So you can throw this out right away when it is at this gummy thicker stage. It is safe, it's not gonna seep into your ground or your water. Next up, I had an old can of paint that had about a half a gallon left in the can and I decided to test out clumping kitty litter inside of that can of paint. So you often see kitty litter recommended on these EPA envir and environmental websites. And since kitty litter is really cheap at your local grocery store, I had high hopes for this test. So I poured some kitty litter directly into the container and I gave it a good stir. After mixing it up as much as possible, it was already firming up. It even broke one of my paint stir sticks. To make sure that I had as much chance to dry out as possible, I decided to pour it out onto some old cardboard that I had. Then I left that sitting there to see how dry it would get. And I moved on to my next test. For the next test, I grabbed a cardboard box and I lined it with some of my grocery bags and I poured the paint into that container. So the grocery bags keep it from seeping out of the cardboard. The cardboard container I'm using just because it has a lot more surface to air contact with that paint. So I wanted to make sure that it could dry out more easily than it does in the smaller mouthed open container of the paint. And it just makes it easier to mix everything up for your test. Okay, so this is really gonna be test number two and test number three because on these websites, I kept reading that if you opened the container and it only had an inch worth of paint or lower in it, you could just leave the container open for a few days and it would dry out enough to throw it away. So the empty can of paint has about, still has about an inch worth of paint in it. I'm gonna leave that set aside and see what happens over three days to see if it actually does harden. And with the, the amount of paint that I poured into that cardboard box, we're gonna do another test. So for this test, I decided to use Plaster of Paris. So I use Plaster of Paris all the time to turn latex or acrylic wall paint into chalk paint. And sometimes if I put a little bit too much of that Plaster of Paris into my paint, it becomes really hard. So I wanted to see if I could just use Plaster of Paris because it is super cheap too, if I could use Plaster of Paris to turn my latex, to dry out my latex and acrylic wall paint when I need to throw it away. So I poured a bunch of Plaster of Paris in and started mixing. It wasn't getting very thick right away. I poured some more Plaster of Paris in and decided after about a cup's worth of Plaster of Paris to set it aside and to see what would happen over the course of three days to see if it would actually dry out. So for the next test, I grabbed another cardboard box and some more grocery store bags and set it up to pour paint inside just like I did with the last one. But for this test, I am gonna try out sawdust. So, I, so a lot of people recommend using sawdust to dry out paint so that it, it would harden enough to throw it away. And I have tons of sawdust hanging from my table saw right now. I do tons of woodworking projects around here. I always have a, a ton of sawdust hanging from my table saw. So for this amount of paint, I used about two full pitchers worth of sawdust. So I have an old pitcher that I keep in my garage for different reasons. So I scooped up the sawdust, poured it directly into the paint. It's about two pitchers worth. So that is a lot of sawdust. I stirred that up again to make sure I got it all mixed in really well. And I set that aside to see what would happen over the course of three days. Okay, for the next test, I'm gonna test out whether or not you can dry out old paint with newspaper. So I shredded up a bunch of um, old newspaper ads that we get around here into a cardboard box. This one might be actually harder because I, I mean, how many people are actually getting newspapers at their house anymore? These are just ads that are thrown on our driveway. So I shredded these up into that box. I set that box on top of another box, again, just 
in case any paint leaked out of the bottom. And then I poured the paint right onto that newspaper. And again, I stirred it up. I want to make sure that as much of that newspaper absorbs the paint as possible. That's going to help it dry out faster. So I stir it up and I set that aside again to see what would happen. Okay, let's move on to seeing how some of these tests turned out. All right, first up was that can of paint that just had an inch worth of paint sitting on the in the bottom of it. So after three days, did it dry out? Not really. It, it is still a lot wetter than I think it should be to throw it away. I have to say that it's like 80 degrees in Houston right now. It's been perfect weather, not too humid for this test. But that paint is still really wet underneath like a skin of dried out paints on top. For the sawdust and the plaster of Paris test, after two days, I noticed it wasn't really drying out any better than it had been when I first mixed it up. So I decided to put those two in the sun on my driveway for just 12 hours. So it was morning to night. The, the night was the end of the third day. And by then, you can see both of these are so, almost super hard. They're really hard to get into. There's no hidden layer of wet paint underneath it. So putting any of these in the sun is going to make this paint dry out so much faster than just having it in the shade, even on an 80 degree day in Houston. Using newspaper to dry out the paint, I put that directly into the sun that first day and it was dry within like 12 hours. So maybe that sawdust in the plaster of Paris would have worked that first day to dry out the paint too if it had just sat in the sun. So guys, definitely sit it in the sun. Now this is the kitty litter and it's practically concrete. Okay, so this paint and kitty litter mixed turned into nearly concrete in the shade in my garage within a day. So this is the one that definitely works the fastest without the help of the sun. So highly recommend, you can get like a 30 pound container of kitty litter for like $12 or $13 at the store. I highly recommend that one. So there's three other ways that I didn't test for you today. Some people recommend adding sand to paint to see if it can dry it out. I don't have any sand, I wasn't about to buy any, so let me know in the comments below if you've tried sand to dry out paint and whether or not that worked. The other method, of course, is the store-bought paint hardener. That's about $4, though, for three quarters of a gallon of paint to dry out. And it, for this much paint, it can get pretty expensive. So I wanted to test out some cheaper DIY methods. And the third option people kept re recommending was to get a huge cardboard box, line that with a trash bag, and then just slowly pour the paint in, let it dry out, add a little bit more paint, let that dry out, just so you're making thin layers of paint and letting it dry out. That seems like it would take way too long for me anyway. But again, in the comments, let me know what have you tried to dry out paint and feel free to ask any questions. I'm always happy to answer questions when I get a chance. All right, thanks guys.